Hello everybody. We're going on a little trip today. And if you're wondering where OJ spent, I'd say more than half his time in jail, it was right there. Indian Springs Jail. That's where they brought him just before he got out also. Right there. And this is darn near across the street from Creech Air Force Base. Creech being right there. Hopefully we'll catch some drones here. There's roads right out here, and there is roads that connect up to Area 51, heading due east from here. So I am on the other side, I'm on the west side of Area 51 right now. Let's see if we can pick up on it. Two big radar up on the mountain there. I can't see him right yet. Uh, right in there. But you could actually see the dish or the dishes to him. And we are coming into Creech. And there is a drone in the air. Oh, that's a helicopter. done many a jobs out there. Built a complete, well, the fuselage of a plane was brought to us and we made it in, piped it all up to where it would catch fire and Creech Air Force Base firemen would be able to go and practice on putting out the fires. Just that one lonely helicopter, which I can't, there he is. There's usually drones at this time flying. I really can't believe there's not. Now remember, right here, All this land just got annexed. So the people that live in Indian Springs are not happy. It used to be two casinos out here, a bar, a little grocery store, all along here. And now as you see, it's all been annexed. And every year, Creech used to have an appreciation day for the people of Indian Springs, which live right over here. There's quite a few residents that live here. If I had to give a rough estimate right now, I would say at least 2,000. They have a phenomenal high school out here. Phenomenal. It, it's almost like a private school education at a public school. Probably one of the best uh, high schools in Southern Nevada. But they don't have the Appreciation Day anymore. Like Goldfield Days, you know, has their Goldfield Days. Tonopah has Jim Butler Days. Creech does really nothing for the community anymore. 
and it is a crying shame. Let's see if we can get closer and park like these guys are. Look at the converted John Deere loader. All in army green. Yeah, the Air Force and Army, they really love John Deere a lot. Never could figure that out. It's a lot cheaper than Caterpillar. Huge water tower that's been there forever. Yeah, there was a casino just right on the other side of that. Can't believe it's gone. Alright, let's get out. See one of their fire trucks and there's the loader going behind it. I really cannot believe there's not one drone flying. Hope you can see up on the mountain there. Right there are those radar dishes. This is where they control all the drones that fly in Afghanistan, Iraq, Iran. This goes clear back all the way to Area 51. You can go on Google Maps and follow the main road in here and follow it all the way back east and you'll run right into Area 51. Mercury is just right up the road Frenchman Flats and Jackass Flats. Yep, no drones. This base is always busy. Always busy. You notice how they have the same uh, trucks as the camo dudes? Love the Dodges. Indian Springs Creech was the home of the Thunderbirds for a while then they moved them back to Nellis but they have an old Thunderbird jet at the high school back here Trust me, when I tell you that's a great school back there it truly is. Their baseball team won state in their division the last two years in a row. All right, everybody, let's head back up to 95. Look at that. Banking left. We get those helicopters uh, following us when we're going to the mine quite a bit. Drones also. So the guys that operate the drones and everything, they do have a sense of humor. That's when I wish I was doing YouTube, was years ago. They don't seem to be doing it much often anymore. And you don't notice it, and you know, obviously a drone following you. But they came in low, because there's me and two other guys that carpool a lot. There's the helicopter again. It's 
so hot outside that my camera overheated. It's about 114 right now. Yep, all right here. All right here was the casinos and everything. Still can't believe they did that. The casinos weren't doing bad at all. Meaning money-wise and all that. Just not bad at all. Here's one of the entrances. Out of the control tower and here comes some of the barracks right here yeah there's usually two or three drones flying all the time during the week on the runway. Yeah, you'll usually see a drone or two on the runway as well. Oh, the helicopter is taking off. Or he's just taxing. Taxing to the hangar. Oh, looks like he was taking off. I can't tell. Yes, he did. He took off. Just flying low and slow. Kind of strange. Ah, sorry, I keep looking for drones everywhere. Can't believe I don't see one. And there is the mountain range that has many stories. Look up the mountain range just north of Creech Air Force Base. There is a lot of stories about that mountain range right there. I don't know if I believe or not. Not <laughs> sure about that. Wouldn't be surprised if this helicopter follows me a little ways. Look at here. Hello. I forgot the one guy's name that, uh, but boy, he is a high up in the military, was a high up in the military. He's got his doctrine degree, who has all the stories about that mountain range right there, where that helicopter is just about to. I think he's turning around right now. Yes, he is. Okay, we've had our fun here. That is something where I definitely love diesel engines. Is, you can see the air conditioner. It's just below 60. I have a really good system though. But a diesel engine while, while idling will keep your AC just as cold as it's supposed to be. 
in the 40s. Gas engines, you have to have that air moving through the condenser and the evaporator. It's one thing I love about diesel engines. Look at Creech. It's just massive. It's a massive air base. This is a kind of a strange area right here. I mean, this is just a mile outside of Creech. Did you see the trees? Used to have a casino right here as well too, but they tore this one down years ago. Still, the uh, aquifer here is real. Yeah, look at it. Look at the ruins of it. There was a gas station there also. But the aquifer right there is very shallow. That's why those trees are there. We are going to be heading through Amagosa, Beatty, and my favorite, Goldfield, and then through Tonopah, and I'm going to be bringing you to a couple mines, one being the third largest pit in the world, open pit mine, and then something else up there. Then I have to work for a few days and then on my way back, Area 51. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this short video. I don't make many short videos, but you guys know. Bye now, thank you.